Hello Cloud Gurus! This week there weren't many service release announcements, but there still was a bit of news. Today we'll be covering the availability of new public datasets, the Gartner IaaS Magic Quadrant, and the new Direct Connect authorization support features. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Julian Pittis. AWS have made nine new datasets available through their AWS Public Dataset program. The new datasets come from companies such as Facebook, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Allen Bryan Observatory, Columbia University, and Yale. They cover categories in biology, for example, the 100 terabyte neurophysiology data representing neurons in mice visual systems, to high resolution population density maps and demographic estimates in the geospatial area. The public dataset program aims to cover the cost for high value datasets to encourage the development of communities that benefit from having such access to shared datasets. AWS has been named a leader in the Gartner's Magic Quadrant for Cloud Infrastructure as a Service yet again. Gartner is an independent research and advisory company that release annual quadrants and reports detailing the challenges, the niche players, the visionaries, and the leaders in a different range of categories. The quadrant for IaaS has placed AWS in the highest placement of leaders quadrant, based off completeness of vision and ability to execute, outranking both Microsoft and Google. This achievement is the ninth consecutive year that AWS have been named the leader in this quadrant. The full details for the decision are outlined in the Gartner report and can be downloaded from the link on the screen. AWS Direct Connect has released support for resource-based authorization, tag-based authorization, and tag on resource creation. Direct Connect is a cloud solution that makes it easy to establish a direct network connection from your on-premises network to AWS. The release to support authorization on resources allows you to now create IAM policies that reference either an AWS Direct Connect dedicated or hosted connection, interconnects, link aggregation groups, virtual interfaces, or Direct Connect gateways using ARNs or wildcards. You can then specify the users and the actions the users can take on the specified resources. The tag-based permissions authorization allows you to achieve the same result by attaching tags to the resources that accept tagging, which are pretty much all the resources except for Direct Connect gateways. And the final releases of tags on creation allows you to create Direct Connect resources with tags, allowing you to allocate a connection to a specific business unit or a resource group. If you use this in conjunction with the tag-based permission release, this will remove the work needed that you need to add an authorized user to the connection. Now onto my favorite section of the show, Guru of the Week. There were a few close answers, but the one that won us over was written by Chris Doyle. Chris is a service delivery manager from Oldham, UK. Congratulations, Chris. You've won a hand-signed card, a t-shirt, and some stickers, which are on their way to you in the mail. And you've also been entered in the draw to win a reInvent 2020 ticket. For all you other gurus who want this awesome swag pack and an entry into the draw, try answering the new question, which can be found on the link below. That's all the great news that we have for you this week, gurus. Please tune into next week's video for some more releases. See you then, but in the meantime, Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.